Did you know that every complex organism starts its journey from a single cell? That's right, it all begins with fertilization. A miraculous event where a sperm cell unites with an egg cell to form a zygote. But this is no ordinary cell. The zygote is a powerhouse of potential, packed with all the genetic information needed to create a unique individual. Shortly after its creation, the zygote embarks on a rapid cell division adventure, multiplying into a cluster of cells known as a blastocyst. These cells aren't just dividing aimlessly, though. No, they're gearing up for one of the most important steps in embryogenesis, implantation. The blastocyst, now a tiny bundle of potential, attaches itself to the uterine lining, marking its first home. This is where the blastocyst will grow and develop, drawing nutrients and life support from the mother. Thus begins the intricate and awe-inspiring process of embryogenesis. From a ball of cells to a fully formed organism, the transformation during embryogenesis is nothing short of miraculous. The magic truly begins with gastrulation, a complex process that transforms the simple blastocyst into a three-layered gastrula. This gastrula is the foundation of the developing embryo consisting of the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Each layer has a unique destiny giving rise to different tissues and organs in the body. But the journey doesn't stop there. Up next is organogenesis where the magic continues. This is when those rudimentary organs and structures begin to form and develop. It's a dance of cells, signaling molecules and genetic factors, guiding the differentiation and organization of cells into specific tissues and organs. It's a beautiful symphony of life playing out in the womb. As the weeks and months progress, the embryo slowly but surely takes shape. The placenta is not just an organ, but the lifeline of the developing embryo. It forms from the same cells that make up the outer layer of the blastocyst and the lining of the uterus. This extraordinary organ performs several vital functions. First off, it's the main hub for nutrient and oxygen exchange. Oxygen and nutrients from the mother's bloodstream pass through the placental barrier to nourish the fetus, while waste products from the fetus are removed and eliminated from the mother's body. Beyond that, the placenta is like a tiny hormone factory, producing hormones such as human chorionic gonadotropin, progesterone and estrogen, which help maintain the pregnancy and regulate various physiological processes. It also provides immunological protection, acting as a barrier to harmful substances and pathogens while transferring maternal antibodies to the fetus. Lastly, it aids in waste elimination, removing waste products generated by the fetus. The placenta, therefore, plays an instrumental role in supporting and nourishing the developing fetus. After a journey of about nine months, the fetus is ready to enter the world as a fully developed baby. What started as a single cell, the zygote, has now transformed into a complex organism with specialized cells and tissues. This journey of life, from fertilization to birth, is nothing short of miraculous. Each stage in embryogenesis, from blastulation to gastrulation to organogenesis, plays a crucial role in shaping the life to come. The placenta, a lifeline for the developing fetus, serves as a vital interface between the mother and the unborn baby, facilitating nutrient exchange, hormone production, immunological protection and waste elimination. These intricate processes, guided by cellular interactions and genetic factors, culminate in the birth of a fully developed baby. And just like that, in the span of nine months, a single cell transforms into a beautiful complex organism ready to take its first breath in the world. 